Hello everyone, I'm really excited to be here today talking to you about our first Movi product. Now you guys have asked us oh, for a while now to be to make some Movi products and we haven't been able to. But now finally here we are, we got our first Movi product and it is a Movi Universal mount. Now a, this, this mount, it's a simple interface plate if you will, that allows you, gives you a few options. So you can, if you want, mount it directly to the Movi uh, pan motor there where normally the toad in the hole goes um, and then basically our plate on the other side of the plate it gives you a few options it gives you an, a three uh, four quarter twenty um, bolts which is what interfaces with uh, the clamps on our ring and also our Steadicam arm post adapter so now you can mount your Movi directly onto a Steadicam arm post or Steadicam arm using our arm post adapter so that's one really cool thing and it interfaces with uh, some one of our other products the other thing you can do is you can take your toad in the hole and mount it directly to the top of our plate and therefore allowing you to uh, allowing you to still use your toad in the hole for a quick release because you've already spent your money on this on this part um, and but still interface with our ring so basically the toad in the hole gives you a quick release uh, a scenario and then you can mount the other side of the toad in the hole to the clamps that go on our ring. Um, the other scenario is if you haven't bought a toad in the hole yet and you need a quick release uh, device, what you can do now is if you purchase the Ronin M universal mount because our Movi mount uses the 45 degree angle dovetail standard that is uh, that the Ronin uses, you can use our Ronin M universal mount as a quick mount. So basically you would need to buy the Movi mount and then the Ronin M mount or the, the, the larger Ronin mount if you want. And essentially now you have a quick release set up for your Movi without having to buy the toad in the hole. So um, it's a great setup. There, it gives you a lot of options. It lets you interface with our other products. And I'm going to show you a few pictures right now so you understand to go over what I just said and so you understand exactly how one part can interact with the other part and so that you're really clear on that. So here's everything laid out from left to right. We got our Movi universal mount. In the middle we got our Ronin universal mount. And then the two parts on the right are of course the Movi toad in the hole. So I'm going to show you how they all sort of can play together. So the bottom two pieces here are the toad in the hole, of course, and the middle piece there um, without the logo is our Movi uh, universal mount. And of course, you can see the toad in the hole can bolt into that and therefore uh, the clamps would be on the other side. And so you could then go to our Steadicam arm post adapter and many other options. Or you, as you can see, the Movi universal mount also slides into our Ronin mount. Quick look at it here all assembled. Once again from the bottom, our Movi uh, universal mount, and then the toad in the hole, and then the separate, the quick release part of the toad in the hole at the top. So that's how you would connect the Movi to our universal mount. So here it is assembled on the Ronin ring. So basically you see our we have our clamps there that, that screw into our Movi mount, universal mount, and then of course a toad in the hole that then bolts into that. And of course you can reverse that, of course, if you want to put the other side of the toad in the hole at the top, which of course what most people do. And therefore, you know, our plate doesn't care which side of the toad in the hole you want to use. We got it's drilled out for both. And so here it is all together, bolted on and in action. Of course, you could just use in this case the toad in the hole to quick release off. And so here's a look at our uh, Movi Universal plate mounted directly to the top of the Movi. And so as you can see, those, those holes going down the center, those are one inch on center, three eighths and a quarter twenty. So of course, you can use this plate and to bolt directly onto a crane or a tripod plate or anything like that. So this is basically um, how it would work. You see there on the top, you get the, the Ronin universal plate, and on the bottom is the Movi plate, and they interlock with each other, slide in and out via the dovetail. So let's just take a look here how what that would look like on the Movi. And so you can see there that basically we got the Movi plate attached to the Movi, 
and then that is then sliding into our Ronin universal mount, which is then attached to the clamps, which is attached to the handlebars on the ring. Or I should also point out that these clamps on the other side of the clamps could be the Steadicam arm post adapter. So for a crane or a tripod mount, um, and if you don't have the toad in the hole and you're using our system as a quick release, it's really simple. So we got the Ronin uh, mount on the top there, and then we got the Movi universal plate attached directly to the top of the Movi, and you see how they slide in and out of each other. So on the top there, we have a row of quarter 20 and 3 8 one inch on center. And you can then attach any number of quick release plates. In this case, it's for my tripod. And once that tripod plate is on there, of course, it just clicks into the top of the tripod. And of course, you can just loosen the quick release mount and the Movi will then slide in and out of there and maybe into the ring or into a handlebar system or anything else you might be using like a drone. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about, of course, our Steadicam arm post adapter. As you can see here, I got the Movi mounted directly onto my arm. So let's go into a little bit how this works. So to start off at the bottom there, we have our Movi uh, mounting plate, which then in this case, we're interfacing with our Ronin mounting plate. And and then it, the clamps that are part of the Steadicam arm post adapter when you buy it. And at the top there is the actual arm post adapter, which is available in many different sizes. So once you connect all this together, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the universal plate allows you to quickly remove the Ronin on and off of it. And from there, of course, you can go on to different devices. So if you already have the toad in the hole, the, our Movi mounting plate still works. So basically from the bottom there you see the two pieces that make up the toad in the hole. Then you see our Movi mounting plate which then can immediately connect to the Steadicam arm post adapter which comes with those clamps. And so there you see it assembled there all in one piece. The arm post adapter on the left there and then the uh, toad in the hole quick release plate which would, you would then attach to the top of the Movi. So let's take a look at what this would all look like. Basically, you see here you have a, a great boom range. You can go pretty high, you can go pretty low. And of course, you have a lot of fourth axis isolation. And so once again, instead of it being mounted to my body, it could also be mounted to a vehicle, in which case, you know, you can get some great footage off the vehicle like this. So just to recap, um, we got the Steadicam arm post adapter section available in different sizes, the clamps that go around your handlebar. Um, in this case, I'm using our Ronin uh, quick plate, our Ronin mount, to do the to allow me to slide the gimbal off of this system quickly and easily and onto something else. But you could also use the toad in the hole at this point. And then lastly, the Movi uh, universal plate that we make that then allows this to all play together. So basically, here you go. You have a Movi mounted onto a Steadicam arm. Thanks so a lot. I hope those pictures gave you a better idea of how one part interacts with the other one and the options you now have. And basically, I'm just going to show you here uh, an example of what we did. Um, so once again, if you do have a toad in the hole, you can mount that directly to our Movi universal mount which then attaches to the Ronin ring, or the, the, the Pro ring, and using the Ronin standard. And then what we did here is we took a Ronin M universal mount, the CM003 part, and mounted it to a tripod. So this is a situation where if you haven't bought the toad in the hole, and you do or you are looking for a Movi quick release system, now you have it. So by using the Ronin uh, M mount, we mounted that to the tripod, and then we put our Movi mount, universal mount, on top. Now you can simply slide out of slide out of there, and you see here. Here's the uh, whoops. Here is our Movi universal mount, which has the uh, 45 degree angle Ronin standard on the top. And since we have another one of our universal uh, Ronin M universal plates on here, you can simply slide into here. So essentially doing what uh, what you can do with the toe of the hole, 
right? So there you go. So now you got your Movi mounted to our Pro Ring. Now, of course, like I mentioned, alternatively, you can use your toad in the hole. So if you just take our Movi plate, it bolts right to the it bolts to the uh, clamps on the top of the tube, and then you can take your toad in the hole and mount it to that. And then you can click right in and then right into your other devices that use the toad in the hole quick release. So once again, um, just to reiterate, our mount can now interface with the Movi standard, which is the toad in the hole quick release, or it can also at the same time inter interact and quick release in and out of the Ronin standard, um, the 45 degree animal dovetail. So you may, you may have a cable cam that came with that standard um, and so that way it allows you as a, as a Movi owner to quickly click in and out of or slide in and out of a either a Movi standard or a Ronin standard it doesn't matter anymore because it's now it can it can work with both so it's a truly universal system and we hope you understand and you enjoy it and it's $99 and it's available on our website right now, cinemill.com.